Presence. We're so worried about how long we live, that we don't get sick. Uh, yeah, it's really like we're always at what we need to achieve, uh, how we're going to achieve it. But what we don't realize, or what we don't realize if this is how we think, is that life happens right now, right in this second. If you're watching this video and you don't like the video, stop watching it. If it doesn't help you to enjoy life better, to get more out of it, stop watching it. Life happens right now whenever we are not enjoying what we're doing. And that doesn't mean, what I'm not trying to say is that everything, every second of life is going to be fun. But what I'm saying is if what we're doing, we don't want to do, then we shouldn't be doing it if, if that's a regular thing. Or in other words, most of us spend life in the future or in the past. In the future, in a sense of like, all the places we want to get to, what we want to achieve. Once we have done all of these things that we need to do, then we're going to arrive in a certain place that's going to be incredible. But really, life is all about the journey, and the journey happens every second, every moment. And so when you hear, like, be present, people think of, like, Buddhist philosophy and, you know, this is kind of aloof and disconnected. No, that's the fucking reality. Life happens right now. It has nothing to do with tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, etc. Yes, things going to happen, but that's going to be relevant when you are in that moment. Now, does that mean you shouldn't plan anything? No, that doesn't mean. But it shouldn't be that we're constantly living in the future, like worrying about how long we're going to live. It doesn't matter. If you're not enjoying right now what you're doing or the circumstances of your life right now, why would you want to be in misery for 120 years if you could live 120 years? I find it really interesting, like all this life extension stuff. Like, I mean, I... I was a technophil person, or I still am, but I mean, technology and all the tools, these are just tools and they have good and bad sides. And so death is actually really powerful, well, not tool, but reality. Um, and because it makes you appreciate that there's finite time. If everything would be infinite, God, wouldn't that be exhausting? Do you want to live forever? Like, there's no end in sight. And I'm, I mean, I'm sure if you have a great life, well, you can just extend it and extend it, extend it. But at some point, I guess we're all going to get tired. So death is actually something beautiful. Now, also, not knowing when it happens is a stark reminder of you to be present. You know, something could happen, touch wood, it won't, but it could happen tomorrow, in a week, in a month, in a year. You don't know. So, again, don't spend all your time thinking and worrying about the future or the flip side of that, regretting what happened in the past. The past is the past. It was a teacher. Stuff happened, you learned stuff, even if it was difficult, it made you who you are. And you're richer because of those experiences. And there's always a silver lining, as I talk about it in other videos. Like anything bad that happens is actually an opportunity for us to grow if we take it as such and if you look at it as such. And, um, and so whether you spend all your time in the future or in the past, if you, for example, say, like I talked in the other video, I'm so busy and life is so stressful and all of that, well, change something. Life happens right now. And then you're going to say, oh, but I have to achieve that. No, you don't. I mean, you, of course you can. All I'm saying is these are all choices. We have full agency of our life. Whenever you say, oh, this is like out of my control, I believe it largely isn't. Like, there's a few things that aren't like... You can't control the economy by yourself. You can't control the weather. Um, but pretty much everything else, you have either full agency or control. And that also relates to what, uh, what you do and, and how you, obviously, how you live your life. And so your current reality is just the one that it currently is. You can change it in the next second, in the next minute. And it often just starts, actually, everything starts just with a decision to change something. Now, it doesn't matter how big or small it is. It can be something like I created recently, like a powerful morning routine. And it's on my website, vincentdorani.com, under inspiration morning routine. So this is just one example, and it really transformed my life. Like it takes an hour out of my day, and of course, that might be too much for you, and that's fine, it doesn't have to be an hour. Again, that's an arbitrary number, just as how old you're gonna get is an arbitrary number. I get to that in a second. So it can be an hour, it can be 10 minutes, five minutes, one minute, well, maybe a little more than one minute or ten, whatever amount of hours, whatever time you can fit. And it's just about you do it every morning and it should put you in a better state. So if you afterwards feel worse than you started, then you shouldn't do it. Then you're doing something wrong. And so I, I have various elements and it just sets me up for an incredible day. And one day I just made the decision at the same time as I made the decision to do these daily videos 
that I'm going to do this morning routine. And it was painful at the beginning, like creating any new habit. It's painful. You don't find the time. Uh, it's, it's exhausting. Like the exercises in this case, the physical aspects are, uh, and also the mental aspects were like, how do you say, like challenging. But then you create a routine and suddenly it becomes like brushing your teeth. I don't even think about it anymore. I do it. It takes an hour. I feel like completely different no matter how I woke up. It sets me up for a different day. I'm happier and then I have a cold shower. I'm one minute under the show, under shower and I don't even feel it's cold anymore. That's a topic for another day. Um, but again, you can start with five seconds cold and you move up. Um, and so it's all about seizing the moment. Carpe diem. <laughs> and that doesn't mean just chilling on the beach. It means making the most of what you have right now. Every day we are dealt new cards, you get a deck of cards and you play with them the best you can and that's under your full control. So whether you live 60, 80, 100, 120 years, 40 years, it doesn't matter. Like if you're happy with what you're doing, you're gonna be you know, at peace also with going away. While if, if you're full of regrets of what you did wrong in the past and you're craving all these things that you haven't achieved yet that actually really don't matter but just in your head you say I need to get all of this the reality is like whatever your goals are once you achieve them there will be a more goal it's it's a rat race it's it's infinite so just realize that and think about like take a moment not maybe not right now because you're probably busy doing but find a moment in your week or in every day or you know once a month and the, the less frequent, the more time you should find and then meet, deeper you can go to reflect like, you know, deeply and really challenge you. How's my life? How are my relationships? How's my work? Do I have a purpose? Am I healthy? Am I happy? Am I fulfilled? All of these questions, these are like super important questions. People say like, oh, I don't have time for these questions. Well, what do you actually have time for? What is life? This is answering these questions. And the beauty is once you have answered these questions, all the other questions will solve itself. That's, I, I can't stress this enough. We, we are dealing, we, we are constantly trying to, you know, even the choices you make going in a restaurant, which food to eat. Some, like I used to be like 20, 25 years back, I used to be the person like, oh, I can't decide, like they all look good, etc. And it becomes, uh, a chore really of choosing a dish which should be a pleasure now it takes me just two seconds I just look okay this looks good I take it and who knows whether it's the best choice it doesn't really matter but I don't want to be in agony deciding and so this applies to all kinds of decisions of your life your career how you spend your time when you travel how to travel what money what to spend your money on who to spend time with etc once you answer the big questions what matters to you who you are where you're going and why you're going there and you really then start realizing that you do this because these were like conscious choices, not just that's because that's what everyone is doing or that's what society says or your parents or spouse wants. No, because you really thought about it and you really believe that this is what matters and it might change over, over your life. But for now, this is, and you can change it every day if you want or, or less free. I mean, really it's up to you, but it's all about in the moment knowing what life is about and then all the other questions they solve itself, they just disappear. These are all symptoms of the big questions or derivatives of the big questions. Once you answer it, take the time and we say like, we don't have time to answer Well, this is the most crucial thing. If you wanna invest in the quality of your life, start answering the big questions and really ask your deep, even sometimes painful questions. And maybe you realize that you did everything wrong for the last 40 years. Hopefully not, I'm sure not everything, but that's okay too because that's no reason to, these are sunk costs, that time has passed, now learn from it and change something. And so, again, life happens now and if you can't enjoy now, then you need to change something. As Steve Jobs said, uh, every day I look in the mirror and ask myself the question, if this is the last day of my life, would I do what I'm about to do? And if I answer the question too many times, too many days in a row with a no, I know I need to change something. So ask yourself this question. If this were your last day, what would you do and what would you do to change different? And then make decisions what you, steps you can take towards that life. And it starts with a single step. And if you take that first step, life will never be the same again.